Hello everyone, I am Vishal Soni. Today we are gonna build a digital pocket watch. So this is our pocket watch. There is a button on the side. When we press the button, it will show the time. When button is released, the watch go to the sleep mode to save the power. The watch can run up to 3 to 4 days in a single charge. I tried to make it more like a pocket watch but with a digital touch. To set up the watch, hold the button on the right and turn on the switch on the left. Now you will see this setup screen. Now take your mobile phone, turn on your Wi-Fi and connect the Wi-Fi to the digital P clock. Now you will see a notification to sign in. Click on the sign in and click on the setup. Now here choose your time and click on the save button. Now once time is set, it will go to the sleep mode. Now press the button to see the actual time. To build this project, you need a round TFT display, a slide switch and a 3D printed enclosure. A DF robot battle ESP32C3. For the power, I am using 3.7 volt 600 mAh lithium polymer battery. You can cut this middle yellow wire because we don't wanna to use the temperature sensor. A square head tactile switch with cap. 4 M to 3 mm brass inserts. 4 M to 8 mm bolts. A zero PCB, a BC857 transistor, 10 ohm register. This video is sponsored by DF Robot. They have sent me bunch of component to use in this video and my future video. Go and check out DF Robot website link given in description for high quality components. Before uploading the code, make sure you have installed the ESP32 boards in Arduino IDE. You have installed the Wi-Fi manager library a TFT ESPI library, a ESP32 time library. So here we gonna install the TFT ESPI library because we have to change something in it. So go to the library manager and write down the TFT underscore ESPI and install this library. I have already installed it. Now after installing it, go to the document and then Arduino and then libraries now here find the tft espi library folder now find the file user setup open it in notepad i am gonna use the sublime text editor now comment this driver and uncomment our round lcd drivers now we have to define some pins so go to the pin definition section and comment out these pins now make some sections here and copy paste these pins here. Now connect the ESP32C3 with your PC. Now go to the tools and select the ESP32C3 board. Now below select the port. If your port is not showing here watch the video link given in description where i have solved this problem now click on the upload connect this circuit diagram you can find this circuit diagram on my github page first of all i am removing the register to add a on off switch now i am removing the brass screw holder from this lcd and then the SPI connector to save some space. Now suck out the extra solder from the soldering wick and clean it up with isopropyl. As you can see I have soldered all the connection. This is the LCD and this is the ESP and I have connected the transistor on a zero PCB to hold it properly. As you can see in multimeter, the current consumption in time display mode is about 110 milliampere, and in sleep mode it is about 5.9 milliampere. It can run up to 3 to 4 days. 
I have tried deep sleep mode which can extend battery life up to 5 years but RTC of ESP32 is not accurate in deep sleep mode maybe the external RTC can solve the issue so but for this version I am sticking with the light sleep to give accurate time first of all insert some brass inserts in 3d print with help of soldering iron my round TFT display have some extra PCB edges so I have to sand it to fit it properly so you can see I have inserted the display in front part and the ESP on the back part to make sure nothing is loose I have took help of hot glue as you can see here is the PCB with transistor this is the on off switch and this is the push button now take a final test before closing it properly so switch it on and press the button so it will show time insert the battery in front part and close it properly make sure nothing is out of the case last check button is working properly now we will insert the bolts and then tighten it up now turn on the power switch if you don't hold the push button it will set to the 12 o'clock so that's it i hope you liked it and uh, thank you for watching